Okay, so I was searching something non-nefarious, and I found this very strange search result on GitHub. Um, this pretty clearly, to me at least, seemed to be a uh, an attempt to increase SEO or something strange like that, where they just probably steal keywords from the internet and just place it in their own website. So yes, this kind of looks like a normal kind of bootstrap-ish website. You see you have their MB3, their uh, calls, they're like, you know, those those meaningless classes. Um, it seems here, let's see, so they have the URL, what's Discus? Is Discus? I think Discus is like a forum thing, isn't it? Discus is, oh, it's a comment section, ah, that makes sense. Um, clearly a, very, a human wrote this, I think. Um, yeah, it just seems like a normal kind of Bootstrap-esque website. Actually, do they even use Bootstrap? Like, home key time. Uh, okay, so they have a bunch of keywords that mean nothing. They do have ellipses, which is quite abstract. I'm not sure if that's strategic or anything. Um, let's see. This is a YouTube thumbnail for their open graph thing. Interesting. This seems to be from, like, a college vlog. Uh, okay. JS, okay, that's a CDN for scripts. Interesting. I don't see bootstrap. Wait, where's their CSS coming from? Main.cs. Ah, there is bootstrap here. Haha, -ha, I thought so. But interesting. They load it through JS, though. So, yeah. Hmm. No, there won't be any CSS if you have JS disabled. Sucks. Uh, at the bottom here, let's see. It makes reference to a app.js. I think this website's live, by the way. So yes, this is all minified. The start is with jQuery, and the bottom of the page has, uh, looks to be an unveiled jQuery plugin. Oh, they have source maps as well, do they? Uh, no. Oh, you can see, yes, that's what their website looks like. But, um, okay, so here they use high stats. Um, if we look it up, high stats seems to be a very genuine, completely free, no spyware kind of uh, tracker or statistics thing like Google Analytics. Um, but when you look at the other search results, there's not really much here. It seems pretty obscure, even though, like, if it's 100% free, surely it's, like, very popular. Um, seems pretty obscure. Let's see, is it safe? It's considered safe. Nice. Oh, probably just the website, though. Okay, so, yes, this looks like a tracker that they're inserting using JavaScript. Non-ideal, but sure. And they also have uh, this other script tag here. And, ooh, conveniently, it's re readable, at least. It's not minified, so we can inspect that later. And it's on a different domain, also on GitHub Pages. So if we go back to uh, the repository page, this is, yeah, from a search result, so it's a specific commit. Um, they have very generic commit names. If we go to the repository page, and we can see that they have a ton of pages li like that. Presumably, they're all HTML pages. Um, and yeah, there's 21,000 entries. Only uh, 300 commits, not too bad. They seem to have given up in April. Uh, this user, let's see, if we go to their profile, yeah, they've been, they just were active for a chunk of time. Maybe whoever is behind this is like just switching accounts. It's quite interesting that they went, their activity like spiked back up. And it's quite balanced on either end, so this seems to be like a week-long thing. Almost exactly seven days, perhaps, or a multiple of seven days. Hmm. This day had four, three contributions, while the other day had four. Something happened on this day. Sucks. Anyways, oh yeah, this is their only repository, so probably just for spam. Uh, yes, they have GitHub pages enabled, so we can just go to this website and see. Okay, so it's like, you know, those ads you find at the bottom of the uh, an article, but then it redirects you to a Chrome extension page. Oh, shoot. Okay, so there was audio on that page. I should not have clicked on it. Anyways, yes. <clears throat> so they disable Jekyll, which is fine. Uh, that's normal. Doesn't do much. And the rest of these are all pretty similar HTML pages. But notably, they do have an index.html because I believe I was on... Uh, I was just on Avansu. Yes, there was nothing after it, so there has to be an index.html. Uh, looks about the same. They have a very fancy 
a very fancy, I think this is for like easy bib or other like uh, citation generators or they can just steal like the author. So it seems like the author here is named Avansu, creative name. Uh, they also placed some random SEO junk here. Uh, very nice. And ah, Py, I don't think that's Python. They have a search bar, which is quite functional. Um, and they have other SEO junk here. Uh, actually, if we try looking this up, maybe, I think these are from YouTube. No, these are junk. Oh, wait, no, this matches Zed Mesh. Is that, let's see, ah, here. There is a thumbnail. We can, I don't want to click on the video. No, the thumbnails don't match. Okay, interesting. Maybe we can try a different one. I don't know. I think these are from YouTube though. Because I, I looked at this beforehand, before recording this, and I think, let's see. Uh, where was the first HTML page I saw? Sure, let's try this. Um, let's see, remove that ampersand there. Ah, these are, these are from, yeah, these are, yeah, that's the thumbnail we saw earlier. Um, oh, so that is a, that is a college vlog. Okay. Um, anyways, let's see. So yeah, they have the standard, fairly standard thing at the bottom. Seems like index HTML is fairly similar to everything else. This is a bit redundant though, I gotta say. That copyright symbol and then copyright, don't you just write the year after it? And they say they're, they're from YouTube. Nice. Uh. They also have a DMCA and privacy policy with no link, uh, very legal. Um, they call themselves the Avansu Network, not just a person or they're named after Avansu. Very nice. Uh, so uh, we might as well start looking at the code. So this one seems promising. This guy, let's see, they don't have a main thing. So we can go to their GitHub profile and see they only have static which is where they host wp.js. And wow, yes. So it seems here that they insert a fancy script tag, but only if you check returns false with a very common practice of equal, equal, equaling to false. Uh, this one returns the, this function. Let's see, I think it checks the user agent if it contains one of these keywords here, which seem to be mostly like uh, search engine crawlers. So Googlebot. Um, and I'm guessing that if, because they're doing this for SEO, but also for ads. So like if you're a normal user and you go into their site, they want you to show you some ads and get some money that way, but they don't, they don't want to show that to search engines or they don't even bother indexing their site and showing it in search results. So they probably just don't redirect, uh, the like Google bot, et cetera. Which means that perhaps this means that if I set my user agent in inspect element to Googlebot and I go to Avansu's website, uh, it shouldn't redirect me. Let's see. And there's no redirection. Cool. Ah, there's a hamburger menu here, but it doesn't work. And yeah, they stay there copyright youtube.com and their privacy, their, oh, it just redirects to the page. Cool. And their links thing is empty. It looks like they probably use like a template. Uh, this thing is annoying. I think there's probably supposed to be an ad here. Uh, would it say? Let's see. Oh yeah, this thing is special. Um, ah uh, yeah, I think this is supposed to be for an ad. Cool. So if we click on this, what's the least cursed video to click on here? School lunch France. Sure. So yeah, they have recommendations here and View counts and the thumbnail. Is this like from, so wait, where's, is there like a YouTube link? Um, they have ads here. Is this an embed? Yeah, this is the embed, okay. Uh, I can just click this. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes, the views, oh, the views and like count are mm, about right in magnitude, but they're slightly out of date. Interesting that this video is still growing. Oh yeah, it was published recently. Um, cool, so this is just a normal video page. Interesting, why would they, they're just really up, huh. Interesting, I guess if you want to uh, advertise your own site, you just have to post it on YouTube and other sites will help propagate it on their own SEO sites. Cool, um, if I zoom out on here, yeah, the hamburger menu disappears, so there's nothing in that menu. This is left over from their bootstrap template, it seems. 
And in this video search, I probably can search something like sheep. Uh, I don't think that any of this has to do with sheep. Oh, it does. Oh, interesting. So they have a backend, even though this is on Google, on GitHub pages. So they probably fetch from a site. So let's see. Ah, here. Uh, in so they shuffle it, which is mm, not ideal for search results, I would think. But maybe if they want to advertise for lower, like less popular videos, then perhaps that's good. Um, they parse your search query poorly, I would say. Cat. Oh, they support categories as well. This is such a fancy site. I would not use it though. Black. Interesting. Oh, so if I get, let's see, what's something that there won't be any videos of? A uh, keyboard match, probably. Yep, cool. So that, those are if there are no, nothing. Oh, data.json. So what happens here? Get JSON, and then when there's no data, they shuffle it. But then how do they actually, are they searching it, or am I just getting sheep by coincidence? data.json that's relative to search I think ah uh, see sheep hmm though there are there are actually sheep results interesting but eh oh wait are they filtering it or are they doing it in this uh, shuffle thing. Whatever. Well, cl yeah, clearly their results, search results are stored in one big fat uh, data.json file, which we probably can find here. Search slash data.json. Uh, yes, seven, eight megabytes, not too bad. Um, anyway, so there's a fork for this repository. Uh, Mr. GitHub decided to fork this, and you can see that they have like a lot more commits. So this one had uh, 400 commits, and this one has a 22,000. But it seems to be a completely different um, Jekyll site. Even though they disabled Jekyll. That's weird. Yeah, I have no idea. And it seems like Avance has always been maintaining this one. Um, or perhaps there was a separate a separate branch that he forked from, but then Avance decided to delete it later. Uh, this one, so this repository only has master, but this one has main and master. Uh, master seems to be basically the same. I see. And this, this repository doesn't have GitHub pages enabled, which is quite strange. Um, yeah, there's no one watching this repository. Oh, there's two people watching this. Uh, yeah, the guy who created it and 